Hey everybody, it's Coach Yvonne here and I'm here to talk to you about time. If you don't take anything else away from this video, I want you to take this. Time is your, my most valuable asset. And once we use it or we give it away, we don't ever get it back. So we need to use our time, give our time away wisely. Now let's talk about Rachel who gave five years to a guy that didn't propose to her. And she, it hurt her uh, because she wants to be married and clearly she felt that he had more than enough time to propose. He didn't. The other day I was on Twitter and I saw a tweet that said something about a woman had been with a guy for 10 years and he didn't even propose. And one of my followers in my timeline, a woman said, this is why men suck. And my reply was, she let him do that. Right? Um, I am responsible for me. Whoever I date is not responsible for managing my time. Right? And so men may suck. Some do. But that guy doesn't suck because he didn't propose to her after 10 years. She sucks. <laughs> Sorry to say it that way. Um, because she is responsible for her time. I was in a relationship for 11 months one month shy of a year. He got winter, spring, summer, and fall. And to me, that's all you need are four seasons to, to um, know and decide if this is someone you want to marry. And we both knew that we wanted to marry each other. And so as we were in our relationship, we had a lot of important conversations early on and throughout the relationship. And see, that's why it's important to date with a focus. Because see, when you're just kind of hanging out and chilling, your conversation is hanging out and chilling. It's not focused. It's not lasered. You're not talking about the things you need to be talking about to find out if this is someone that can go the distance. Now, you may have those conversations here and there, but you're so comfortable in your five-year and 10-year relationship that these conversations don't take a priority. You see, at this phase in my life and at this point in, 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 in his life, the guy that I was dating, we're both looking for someone that we want to marry. And we could have married each other if it was one deal breaker for me. Couldn't get past it. And a deal breaker is a deal breaker breaks the deal. It's not negotiable. There's, it's like you would want children. I don't want children. You smoke and I don't date smokers. There's nothing we can do with that. We need to go find a smoker and find somebody that wants children. That wasn't our situation, but it was something. It was a deal breaker. And so once I saw it for what it was and is, I was out. I didn't stick around for what? We, we're not doing this. You understand what I'm saying? So I think that there's danger in being in these long-term relationships like this, especially when you want to be married, because you get comfortable and guys get comfortable. I don't know about you, but I have never, I've been around men all my life. I have five brothers um, and the majority of my friends are men. And I just happen to talk to a lot of men, period. I have never heard a man say, I'm looking for a wife ever have you but i have heard women say i'm looking for a husband and it doesn't mean that because a man hasn't said it that he doesn't want it he just doesn't want it with the same urgency that that a woman might want it you understand what i'm saying and i'm not talking about her biological clock or anything like that yes that's a part of the reason there's an urgency for women but i just think the way women are wired you know we we are are marriage and family oriented right and so I was on the train the other day, a couple of months ago in the summer, I was on the train and I was sitting next to a young lady and she had her girlfriend standing in front of her and they were talking about her relationship. And clearly there were some things that were wrong and not little things, but big things. And I couldn't help but say something. And I said to her, how long have you been with this guy? And she said, three years. And I looked at her and I said, you need to break up with him. And she said, break up with him? I said, yeah, you need to break up with him today. And, she, and her girlfriend started laughing, but she knew I was telling the truth. And I told her to break up with him because time is speeding. Yo, it's the end of summer when in the blink of an eye, it will be Christmas. We will literally be saying Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. 2017, psh, it just like raced its way through. And I told her, I said, the next time you bend your head down and you look up, you would have been with him six years. Why give a man six years of your life if you're not going to marry him? There's no reason for that. When a man wants to marry you, he marries you. And the things that you mentioned, they're important things that he needs to fix. They're not little things like, like he wears like polka dot socks with shorts and, and hard toe shoes. 
No, those are the important things, the career things, the family things, the money things. I heard what you were talking about. She kept saying, break up with him. I said, yeah, break up with him. So here's what I'm saying to you. Break up with him. If you're in a relationship and you want to be married and it's not going in the direction you want it to go and you've already given all this time, you're not getting your time back. And if you want to be married, date with a purpose date for that reason. When you're dating for that reason, you're having important conversations early. You're asking questions. You're, you're just focused. Okay. So that's what I want you to take away from this video. Time is your most uh, valuable asset. You don't get it back. If you want to be married, date to be married. And I will say more about that in the video. Um, and if you're in a relationship and it's not going in the direction you want it to go, break up with him. That's all I got for now. Uh, leave your comments below. Share this video even if you don't like it, because guess what? Somebody else might. <laughs> and be sure to come back next time to hear what else I'm talking about. Thanks for watching.